Sure. Joining me now is Republican strategist Malik Abdul and Board of Commerce and Security Council Chairman Nelson Bolito. Thank you so much both for being here. This is another hot topic. Malik, articles of impeachment against Mayorkas head to the Senate on Wednesday. Should the Senate take or even entertain a trial for Mayorkas? Well, sure, I think they should. But even then keep in mind, even if they do, the Senate is under Democrat control. So the likelihood of them moving forward with actually impeaching Joe uh, Mayorkas in the Senate is pretty slim. But of course, this was part of the deal that Speaker Johnson made in order to get the seat in the first place. So they have to do it. But the reality is it's not going to go anywhere because Joe Biden is uh, Mayorkas is not going to be impeached. Nelson, what's your take on this? Uh, should, him, should he take the fall? I mean, they've been trying to impeach him for a number of months now. Uh, maybe he does take the fall, and that could be a way of the Democrats showing that they're willing to make some reform. What's your take? You know, I don't, I don't think they're going to try to dismiss this as soon as, it, as soon as they can. They, they don't want this on the table. They don't want to go on record showing what's happening. And ultimately, what's that going to fix? You understand, you know, the, the secretary is appointed by the president. He's taken the, the, the playbook of President Biden. He's doing what President Biden is telling him what to do. He's not doing a lot of this stuff on his own. He's the fall guy. Sure he is. And I think he should be held accountable for it. But ultimately, if the president wanted to make changes, Mallorca's would make changes. This is just another smoke and mirrors that it's just stalling the, the, the issue of doing something on the border that should have been done, you know, years ago. And consistently, the, the White House is doing nothing about it. And it's just getting worse and worse each and every day. And we still have months here to go before the election. Malik, listen to former President Donald Trump talk about Biden's migrant crime. Let's play the soundbite. Bloodbath, and it's destroying our country. It's a very bad thing happening. Eleven days ago, right here in Kent County, a 25-year-old Michigan woman named Ruby Garcia, who has become a very well-known name, beautiful young woman was savagely murdered by an illegal alien criminal under the Trump administration. This monster had been deported, thrown out of the country, he wasn't going to be able to come back because you just have to look at the charts. It was very, very hard to get in. But he came back and uh, we threw him out of the country and crooked Joe Biden took him back. So, Malik, Democrats, they've said that this is the Republicans' problem, that they're appeasing Trump because he's campaigning on the border right now. Do you see a deal getting done? They want bipartisan support. Do you see anything getting done here before the general election in November? No, and keep in mind that with presidents, you typically have one bite at the apple for major legislation. And for Biden, that was pretty much his infrastructure deal. Um, Donald <clears throat> Trump, it was the tax and job cuts. And you can actually argue the uh, like the criminal justice reform. I don't expect anything to happen between now and November. But what Donald Trump is articulating there is not just the frustration, but what many people are starting to feel around the country, whereas that was initially isolated to those border towns, we're now seeing in places like New York City and Chicago and other places, the rest Residents of these cities are concerned about what's happening. So I think Trump is actually tapping into that. What ultimately comes out of it, we just don't know. And Nelson, why not bring back some of those Trump policies? I mean, the Democrats could do that. President Biden could do that. He has the ability to. He stripped all of those border policies that Trump enacted. They could do something about it, but they don't want to. What's your take on that? Why wouldn't they, if they wanted to show that it was serious, they were serious about the border, why not bring some of them back? Or is that giving Trump yeah. the upper hand? Yeah, on day one, they rescinded everything that was there that Trump had put in place. Of course, they don't want to give uh, Trump a winning ticket or a, or an upper hand. They they can put these things back in place today, including the Remain in Mexico policies, but they don't want to do it. That's giving a win to Republicans when they've said that they were going to do reform. The problem is it's just gotten an out of control. I don't think they were they thought it was going to get this bad, but it's been a call to the, to the entire world that our southern border is open. You have tens of thousands of Chinese coming over and landing in Mexico, Russians and other places, yeah. and heading towards our border. And the scary part is, is that 20% of the people are go are what they call got away. It's either the people that we yeah. don't know that would never qualify to get asylum. And these are the folks that you're seeing on the screen right now. And this is what happens. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know what? We'll see what happens here on Wednesday when those articles on Petri hit the Senate. I have a pretty good idea what's going to happen. Probably not going anywhere. <laughs> Appreciate your guys' insight. Malik Abdul as well as Nelson Polito. Appreciate it.